check, check. That's fine. Okay. Hey, is this on already? Or is, do I see a button to turn it on? It's on. It's on? Okay. But not, no, he's not first. You're, you're second. Is, is there somebody before you? Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, David, so when I'm not, when I, do I turn it off, like when the other things are going on? Uh, testing one two three. Oh, welcome to the Spring Consortium meeting. Hello everyone, welcome to the spring meeting of our Florida Regional Consortium for Technology Enabled Learning Solutions. One of the goals of our FRC Tech Consortium was to develop programs, improve programs, and implement strategies that would represent program models that would be significant enough that would be shared with the other, with the other grant partner colleges. Today's consortium meeting is designed to give all the partner colleges an opportunity to showcase the changes or the program enhancements, the things that they did at their respective institutions, and share those with the other partner colleges so that everyone has a chance to see what new programs and resources are now available to them. This is one of our key grant deliverables. This is something the Department of Labor charged us to do, and this is something that will be an important part of what we're doing to contribute to the landscape behind the education in our state of Florida. Uh, one important thing for everyone to know is that the presentations today are going to be recorded and they will continue to be available through this collection hub provided by Telenet for the next 12 months. So those of you that are watching today can be share these with your, with your colleagues by simply by registering and logging in to this same point and making them available. You can also invite others to participate, but you'll be able to come back to this site on an ongoing basis for the next 12 months and continue to share them with your colleagues or other people, or even people in other disciplines outside of your own. The goal of this is to share the resources that have been made available to your institution by virtue of the FRC Tech Consortium. Our first presentation is going to come from St. John's River College. All of today's presentations are related to information technology. The, all of the presentations related to the health sciences portion of our FRC Tech grant will be in our May 9th webinar, which is happening tomorrow. But today, all of the presentations are focused on information technology. 
And so the first one is coming from St. John's River College. It's being presented by Ruth Maldonado, Ruth, Mal, Ruth Manlandro, who could not be with us today, but she will be participating remotely, and we can also send questions to her. So if you do have questions, we can get those answered for you. And we're going to roll with Ruth's Ruth pr presentation. Good morning, St. John's River State College FRC TEC grant presentation. Currently, as of the summer semester 2014, St. John's River State College grant for the FRC TEC will have 26 students that have completed their programs of study. One of our grant students, John Cheney, had an internship in the spring semester of 2014 with the IT department at St. John's River State College. Now we will start with students that are in the grant program or have completed their courses of study that are currently employed in the field. Many of the grant students are currently studying for certification exams that are industry exams in their fields of study. Next you will see some pictures of students that are taking or studying for their certification exams. St. John's River State College participated in the Cisco NetWriters competition in the fall of 2013. Of the five students from St. John's River that placed, three of them are FRC TEC grant students. Friday, April 11th, the Computer Science Department held a symposium which focused on women in IT and then went on to other activities such as mock interviews, HR testing, and simulations for the students. One of, the, one of the things that St. John's River State College did with the funds from the FRC Tech grant was to create what they call a boot camp format. They took the, they, they purchased um, Transcender software, which enables students to practice their various industry certification tests, and they created a boot camp style 
event where on Saturdays the, and they would set up um, time in the lab and instructors would come in and students would have extra time outside of their classwork to come in and practice and do extra tutoring and extra work. And you can see from the results on Ruth's presentation, they had some very good results in terms of students doing well on their certification exams, getting to a very high level of performance like in the competition she talked about, and also moving into employment situations. So they really did an excellent job using the resources that, that they had and also putting on this specialized event, which was another event that they did exclusively for IT students, where they came in and gave them the opportunity to hear about um, working in the profession and also doing actual interviews and getting an input on their resumes. And they did a special one-day presentation just for students in their programs. So now we're going to open up the floor to any questions. Um, Ruth is actually teaching at this moment, so she will not be able to answer them right now, but we'll collect the questions and we'll send them to, if, we, if there are things that we can't answer based on our knowledge of the program, we'll collect those questions and we'll send them to Ruth and we'll get them answered and we'll get those responses back to you via email and we'll also publish them as part of this webinar. Does, it, does anybody have any questions? Do you know, David? We can, we can get to the non-audio version if we just want to look at the... The enrollment in the course. The enrollment in the course. Okay. Yeah, I think in the very first slide she had, she had in the, in the very first slide she had the, 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 the there it is. The, que the question was, what is the typical enrollment in each of the courses that were included as part of this program? And we have, Ruth is not available, but one of the other, her colleagues is registered, and we're going to check and see if he is online. And Ruth was going to be online later, so we can certainly come back to this question after her course is done this morning. Anybody else? Any comments? Anybody else have experience with this same type of software or similar experience? Well, we use the um, CertiPort measure up exam. It's a practice exam, and then we use the CertiPort exam to um, sort of qualify them for the certification. We're in the process of becoming a CompTIA testing center here for you, so we don't have actual data yet, but we're hoping by the middle of this summer we'll have some of those students. So, because they had good results with the students once they get the, you know, it appears to be the case once the students get their certifications and they do become employable. So, so, so that is the goal. <laughs> okay, we have the answer. Twelve to sixteen students enrolled in each of the courses is the answer to the question. Okay. No more comments. We will conclude the presentation from St. John's River, and there will be a short break before we do the next presentation, which will come from Daytona State College. And we'll start at 9 at 9.55. Are we out?